Welcome to today's broadcast. I'm reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse number 7 and verse number 8 in the NIV version. Each one should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able, verse number 8, to make our grace abound to you so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Hallelujah. Receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior makes you have access to abundance of grace. That's why the scripture said, they that receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign on this earth. And then we, f- we found out that it is possible to receive grace in vain. And so in order not to receive the grace of God in vain, you must live in righteousness. And after that, we saw that living in righteousness is not enough. You must live a life of service in your local church and to humanity, wherever you are. Yesterday, we saw one major uh, service that you must do for God's kingdom, winning souls for Christ. Today, the scripture here is saying each one of us should be a giver. The more you give money financially now, because this scripture is talking about finances. Many people don't like to hear the scripture that talks about finances because the devil knows that that is the key to the grace of God. Because Jesus gave his life so that we can give our resources in order to connect with more of his grace. I'm going to look at the scripture. It said, we must, number one, decide to give from our heart. One of the reasons why many people offering tithes are not working is because they just gave because uh, they were com- it's like a compulsion. This scripture said you shouldn't give reluctantly or under compulsion, but that God loves a cheerful giver. So becoming a cheerful giver gives you a cheerful grace. <laughs> Double your effort to have a good attitude during your giving. Don't give squeeze face. Don't give as if, uh, if not because of this. Blah, 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 blah. You're, you're wasting the grace. You're making yourself unavailable for the grace that should come by your giving. Don't give tight and say, yeah, our church will always make noise about tight before. Don't give out of fear that, oh, if I don't give now, something bad will happen. It won't bring blessing. That's what this scripture is saying. It must not be done under reluctancy or compulsion. God loves a cheerful giver. And this is what God will do to a cheerful giver. And, and God is able. So the ability of God for all grace to be given is in your ability to become a giver to God's kingdom. Yeah. The more you give, the more grace you enjoy. In fact, this is what happens. Every time we're dancing in church or there's a need in church or there's a word of God that requires you responding in faith to connect with whatever God is saying, at that time, there's a grace like rain ready to come down. God is able to make available, to make all grace abound towards you, to make all grace loaded into you, to make all grace, double kind of grace available to you so that at all times, Oh, grace for Monday, for Tuesday, is available on Sunday. At all times, having all you need, you will abound on every good work. Meaning, therefore, God gives grace for breakthrough in your life because you're giving to him. and He he gives you more grace because he wants you to give more. Look at it. So that you can abound on every good work. God will want you to be a good worker in his house. He wants you to financially support his kingdom. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good mayor, press down, shake it together, and run it over. Shall man. So grace of God makes men favor you. It will surprise you that the place you are working, it wasn't because you were so brilliant. That's why you got it. There are people who are more qualified than you. It's grace that brought it. So the promotion to go to the next level is the way you are able to be responsible to service the grace of God that is upon your life. Yeah, I mean service by giving, offering, giving. Every kind of giving. Because we didn't bring anything here. We're not taking anything out of here. All right? Why should a believer love to give to hospital more than they give to their church? Or give to lawyer? Or give to mechanic? They don't see house rent as anything because they think they're living in the house. Yeah. 
We see people pay house rent and die in the house. We people buy a house and have major domestic accident. It's not your portion. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. So the secret of the Most High God is to become a giver in order to enjoy the grace of God. Write it boldly. Don't be afraid of who will criticize you. The more you give to God, the more grace you enjoy. God bless you.